welcome to my channel, Mexicanas en el Mundo. I'm Alexandra, a Mexican living in Switzerland. And today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, gorditas, sopes, or picaditas. They're, they're, it's the same dish, but depending on the part of Mexico you're from, they call them different. I grew up calling them gorditas. And they're going to be with a black bean filling. If you guys don't know how to prepare your beans, uh, I already made a video on how to cook and how to refry them. They're going to be on the left side of the screen. So you can click on that link and if for some reason you can't manage clicking on the link at the end of the video there's going to be like a connecting video taking you to the bean link. Uh, the material, the stuff we're going to use to prepare the, the gorditas today uh, was gifted to us by the shop in Zurich called El Maiz. It's a Mexican shop. Uh, they gave us the flour to make the gorditas and they also gave us the black beans for the filling. So thank you El Maiz for your gift. And we're going to make the video so you guys can see how to prepare this delicious Mexican dish. Okay, so um, these are the beans that El Maiz, the shop, gifted to me. It's black beans. Uh, for those of you who have never cooked beans before, um, all the bags, no matter the brand or the type of bean, they come with little stones. So you have to be very careful and you have to clean your beans before you cook them because otherwise you get those stones in your soup and your meal and that's really awful and you risk breaking a tooth. So really, really, really check your beans or lentils or whatever you're making. This type of uh, product usually comes with stone, so always clean it. Uh, the beans, I already cooked them, so what we're going to do is refry them so we could fill our gorditas. I'm going to put a big chunk of butter and in there I'm going to put two garlic cloves and one onion, which I chopped finely, and two uh, chiles de árbol or árbol peppers going to saute them in the butter so that it gets fragrant and then I'm going to add the beans and I'm going to mash them with a bean or potato masher. Uh, now I'm going to take out the chilies and I'm going to add the beans but without any broth. They have to be dry. And I'm going to add 250 milliliters of heavy cream. And I'm going to let them simmer in there for a while because my beans are cold. I had them in the refrigerator. I cooked them yesterday. So I want them to heat up to warm up. And once they're warm then I'm going to mash them. Okay, so the beans are done, they are refried, and they're just waiting to be used as the filling. I already got a head start making the sopes, gorditas, or picaditas, however you want to call them. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make your dough. If you don't know how to make dough, I already have a video showing you how to make dough for tortillas, which is the exact same dough you use for the picaditas, sopes, gorditas. So you have to ball up portions and each ball you're going to put in your tortilla press and you're going to press on the press <laughs> it sounds funny, press on the press yeah, you're going to squish the ball with your hand not with the lever the, the tortilla press has you have to do it with your hand lightly so that you get kind of about this size it's about the size of my hand and it has to be thick enough that you can squish or press the ends because you're, this is going to serve you kind of like a little plate you're going to put the filling inside so it has to be thick enough that you can press the sides 
The next step, once you make your your um, sope, is you put it on the on a hot pan. I'm going to use a crepe pan or a normal pan. I don't have a, a griddle for my stove, so I'm using two different types of pans. And you're going to cook each side for one minute in a total of four minutes. You're going to be alternating one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. You take it out of the pan and then you start pressing all the sides. While it's still hot, it has to be hot, otherwise you won't get the result you need. So while it's still hot, you press, you pinch all the sides until you turn it into a little bowl. I made a few of these gorditas. The next thing is filling them. So I'm going to put a layer of refried beans with a spoon. I'm going to spoon it in. Then I'm going to add uh, lettuce. I cut lettuce up in little strips. Uh, drizzle some cream. And I'm going to add this delicious sauce which was also gifted to us by El Maiz. It's called La Llorona and it's made out of morita chili peppers. It's a really good sauce and funny, this brand makes really, uh, they put really funny names, interesting names on the sauces, very Mexican names. So if you guys have it around, you should buy it, it's very good. done filling all the gorditas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned how to make them. I hope you actually make them. They're a really nice uh, dish. My kids already uh, had quite a few and they're off in the room all happy, smiling. Now it's my husband and my turn to, to eat and enjoy them. Uh, again, thank you to El Maiz for sponsoring the, the video, the ingredients to make the video. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. It's really helpful and it makes me very happy to know you guys are following me. So see you next time. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please watch the other videos. Just click on the links and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.